Hello everybody, this is Rodney Dow with another video on how to help your teams be more effective. And this video is actually on how to cut meeting time in half. Uh, sometimes there are meetings that go for two hours, three hours, and it's all about generating ideas. And if it's an idea generating meeting, you can actually cut your meeting time in half and even increase your productivity and not decrease it. So you're at an increased productivity, increase the um, production of ideas and increase the quality of those ideas. All right, so let me tell you a little bit first on the brainstorming research so you'll know some things and understand why this will work. So, there we go. So the research shows that groups produce about half as many ideas as individuals. So you take uh, uh, groups of people and you put some of them into brainstorming groups and brainstorm ideas, and some of them you just put them uh, as an individual person writing stuff on a piece of paper. And the people writing on a piece of paper generate more ideas, about twice as many ideas as what people are in a group. So an entire group of five people had half as many ideas as a single person by themselves. Now there's a lot of psychological reasons for this, and, and some of them are just uh, logistical reasons. A person in a group, only one person can talk at a time. You have to say it out loud, someone records it. You, uh, other people, are affected by the first person to speak and they come up with similar ideas as the first person to speak, etc. People start giving more um, detail about the ideas instead of uh, coming up with completely new ideas. Lots of things like that happen in a group. People also unconsciously, whether they realize it or not, are impacted by the opinions of other group members, what they think those people will be thinking of them. And uh, so they are more cautious about the ideas they that they uh, promote. So uh, that is some, some of the reasons why groups produce less ideas than individuals. And of course, someone has to take turns and you can't, everyone can't talk at once. Um, uh, now here's the thing, the people actually feel they're more productive um, than on their own when they're in a group. So they actually feel, wow, we had a great productive brainstorming session. But they, that's because they don't realize how many ideas they would have come up with if they had just sat there on their own. So. What are solutions to this? And yes, there's always a solution. One of the solutions is something called brain writing. And I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of brain writing here. Um, one, the first thing you'll have everyone write down ideas on the slips of paper for five to 10 minutes. Five minutes, you'd be amazed how many ideas people come up with in just five minutes, but you can go as long as 10 minutes. Uh, then you have everyone post their ideas someplace where everyone can see it on a whiteboard, for example. Um, and then people actually vote and debate on the ideas. So you really want to debate the ideas and then vote on what are the best ideas. And this is a real meritocracy of ideas. You don't want people uh, choosing ideas just because the CEO or somebody likes that idea. You want to really d discuss and debate the ideas. Okay, so that's brain writing. Now there's something also called cyberstorming. And there's a website called candor.com which helps you do cyberstorming. But cyberstorming can be done in many ways. Any way in which you can have everyone's ideas come together online, you could even potentially do it through uh, email, uh, potentially, uh, uh, or through Google Docs. Everyone can make a list of ideas and then put it on one Google Doc. But uh, candor.com is a website that really helps you do this. It's pretty amazing what it does. Everyone can be given uh, can go on a website or they can go to the Candor app, even though I, I suggest the website because it's you can type faster than you on a website than you can on a um, smartphone or a tablet. You type in your ideas and then the ideas gets put all into one place and you can project that into the room so everyone can see it just like posting the ideas in real life, you posted ideas on screen. And then people can vote on the ideas, which ideas they like, and the app helps you to do that. Um, and it's actually not candor.com, now that I uh, realize that, it's usecandor.com. Sorry about that. If you already went there, I'm sorry, you probably went someplace that's not what you intended. But it's called usecandor.com is the website. And you could always search up for it online, the Candor app. And um, those are two, but this solution is really wonderful and it's a great technological solution. And if you have a team of people that are remote from each other, something like that can work really well. So if they can't all be in the room at the same time, um, you can always have people uh, submit ideas using something like candor.com. So those are two great solutions to the problem of groups uh, taking twice as long to do what an individual could do on their own. So this will allow you to cut a meeting in half. So if you normally take two hours to generate ideas for strategies, you might may be, you may be able to cut that down to just one hour uh, just by using either of these two procedures. So 
that should save you a lot of time, frustration and aggravation, and also make people feel really productive. And now when people say I'm more productive in the group, they really will be right. Okay. Thank you for watching. And if you want to watch more videos like this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can visit my website, um, scienceofgroups.com, in which I talk more and more about the science of groups, why they work, why they don't work, and what you can do to have them work better. Signing off, Rodney.